Can you describe its form? No. Oh, head back, baby! Was it carbon based? I don't know. Ah! 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 Did it communicate with you? It reacted to me. Open your mouth, big tongue! Ah! 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 Hello, welcome. Hi. We just got back from seeing Annihilation. Ah! <sighs> Directed by the guy who made that movie with that robot. That's mm -hmm. my yeah. Shit, face. Uh, I had high expectations for this movie. I wanted it to be good because all the previous movies we've seen this year have been shit. Uh, unfortunately, this movie was kind of a disappointment for me. I, on the other hand, wasn't expecting that much from this film. I only saw the trailer one time and it was when it first came out. So, I mean, I guess fortunately for me, I went into this movie pretty blind. So, story-wise, I thought the concept was just, you know, nothing mind-blowing, but it was interesting, I, I suppose. The shimmer. the shimmer! I also liked how the movie was split up into like almost like chapter-esque type things. My problem with the story is just the pacing of the movie. I'm a fan of, you know, slower-paced films, you know, Blade Runner, I love it, yeah, yeah, but this movie just didn't grab my attention. It didn't keep my attention through its slow pace, and that's, that really hurt. That's my real complaint about this movie, it's just, it's so slow. It picks up near the end, but at that point, you're kind of just like, it's like the movie's almost apologizing, oh, we were so slow. So, so let's add some, let's add some blood, let's add some, you know, something, something. The first like 35 minutes, I'd say, was slow, like you said. And I started to think to myself, damn, this sucks. Another bad movie that I'm not gonna like. But once it got to the middle and started the climax resolution, it improved a lot. CGI was hit or miss. I feel like they had, obviously they had their budget. Where they knew that the CGI was important, they put the money towards it. And then other background scenery, trees and grass, they're like, we don't need that. Obviously it doesn't look great. It can be improved on, but guys, we only have 60 billion dollars to, <laughs> to make this film. We need to spend it on what we really matters. We spent all of it on hiring Natalie Portman. Let's move on to the acting. I thought Natalie Portman did a great job in this movie. Mm. She definitely carried the movie. I, I enjoyed it. Right? I mean, her best performance was Padme. That's true. Let's be real. You can't, once you, once you get up here, you can't. It's hard to get back. It's get hard back to get back there. up there. You just current. One person I fucking hated in this movie was uh, Ventress. Oh, Jennifer my. Jason Lee. Come on, you. We need to get here. We need to go. No, let's go, guys. Grained my noggin, dude. So and she's a good actress, man. She's been in a lot of great movies, Hateful Eight, yada yada. Her acting wasn't bad. It was just I didn't like her character. The directing was solid. You know, this guy clearly knows what the fuck he's doing. Some good shots. Yeah, there's definitely some good, nice ass long shots, cool shots, smart shots. Awesome shots. Uh, I guess we should talk about the ending of the movie. Not spoiler-wise, but if the movie had a good send-off, a good payoff. I was, nah. I mean, it's, it's uh, I guess it's crazy compared to your average, you know, Black Panther, Fifty Shades Freed ending. <laughs> then yeah, it's fucking out of this world weird. The whole movie's building up to the climax. And for me, the climax just wasn't that climactic. So I was just like, okay, like it was cool and interesting. I enjoyed it, but it just wasn't enough for me to be like, that was worth the fucking, First half, boar fest. Great job, yes. The gore on the other hand, really well done. The violence, when it was there, when it showed up, was really well done. Another problem for me, I feel like this movie didn't go in depth enough when it was explaining certain aspects of what was going on. Another thing, uh, the soundtrack, the first half of the movie, I hated the soundtrack. I felt like some white hipster listening to some underground song that I discovered. You don't know what it is, only I do. I enjoyed the acoustic bar part at first, but it was so overplayed. It just yeah, kept they on did happening. it like three or four times. It kept on happening. I was like, come on. Like, what the hell is this? It was nice at first. Come on. This is a Fifty Shades movie. The second half, I got real fucking spacey and synthy. <laughs> so I was like, woo! Start reminding me of Blade Runner, and if you remind me of Blade Runner, then obviously I'm gonna be in a better mood. Great soundtrack for the second half. Writing was hit and miss. And that goes characters. back to the pacing. The characters weren't as captivating as they should have been to keep me invested in this That's small true. paced movie. But it wasn't terrible, by no, no means. It was no, just no, kind of no. average. This isn't a Fifty Shades. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to the ratings. I'm gonna give this a 6.5 out of 10, all right? By no means a bad movie. On a technical aspect, objectively, this is a good movie. It's shot well, acted well, everything's good, technically. But my enjoyment comes first. And this movie's first half is just so slow and so boring. And the characters are so uninteresting interesting except Natalie Portman and maybe a couple scenes with some of the side characters and having the climax be so anticlimactic I had the potential to be good in my eyes enjoyment wise 6.5 for me
My rating, I'll give it a seven out of 10. It wasn't great, it was good. I enjoyed the last half of the movie. The first half was very boring and almost lost me completely, but it definitely brought me back once the soundtrack improves. Um, negatives though, characters, writing. I think the biggest thing is that the director had a great idea. I just think he needed to take an extra year, just a good year to really flesh it out. The writer directors, they get together, they go back to their script. They just hang out in a room for a year together and they really just flesh this one out and, fucking leave. and improve on it. I like this movie. I'll watch it once, but I won't buy it. That's it, folks. Annihilation. Annihilation. Let us know what you thought about this movie. If you watched it, like, favorite, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. Till next time, okay? Later. Can you describe it that far? <laughs> Was it Yakuza based? <laughs> Yakuza, yeah! <laughs>